Drawing a boundary is a good reference point of where to place your pattern on your quilt. Most of the time you want to draw a boundary using your head because most of the time people don't sew in a straight line and you also need to reference exactly the size and placement of the boundary. I'm doing it in standalone mode so you can use a mouse but it's more accurate using a head. To draw a boundary using the head, you press the mode button on the keypad until your icon is highlighted and then you press the select key. Otherwise you can just come up here to the icon with your mouse and say draw boundary. Then your cursor turns into a little plus sign and you can start clicking. And you can use as many clicks as you need, but it needs at least three points to at least make a triangle. Now I can just click along this line and you would be moving your head while you're doing this and clicking your select button. But notice if I come over here and just make a straight line, you can see that part of that quilt is going to be above my line. So that wouldn't work. That's why you don't want your snap to grid on. So I can come across and click my line. You'd probably take a little more time than I am, but for this example, this is works perfectly. You come around and click along the line. And then if you also right click before you get to the edge, it completes the boundary. I'll show you on this one where the image attributes have been lowered. That is certainly not a straight square, but it shows me the more accurate location of where I need to place my pattern. Here's a better example of how to close a boundary. So I have my boundary. When I'm done with the boundary, I can right click to enclose it or I click close drawing on the keypad. And then you notice I can come over here and make another one. If I want to get out of it, I just right click again or I click exit drawing on the keypad.